Hello everybody. Um, I was going to film a video, kind of an impromptu video about how I was going to do my Halloween makeup, um, but that just wasn't going to work out because I hated it. I got about halfway through it and just wasn't feeling it and I wasn't going to put up a video that I wasn't like a hundred percent behind um, how it was going to turn out and what it looked like. So that's probably why my eyes maybe look a little bloodshot because I just took all of that makeup off. And the main color, this was the main color of the look. Because I'm being the Silk Spectre and I was like, hey it's Halloween, let's be crazy with the makeup. But probably just going to do um, a more natural look like she has in the comic books and the movie. So this is just going to be more like an impromptu kind of fall e look. So if you want to see what I end up with, please keep on watching. So again, I don't really have any plan for this. I'm just kind of winging it and going with it. Um, I saw a couple of looks that a couple other vloggers were doing um, for fall that were like coppery colors and um, green colors, but I was, I kind of liked those, um, so I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette, um, and I'm going to go in with this color here, this coppery, um, golden one, it's called Chopper, sorry my nose itches, um, and I'm just going to take and put that all the way across the lid. I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors that I own. I blend that all over the lid. And then I'm going to take it wipe that off. It's got black all over it because I just used it in my horrible video. <laughs> I'm just going to take that in the inner corner as well, just in before the lash line. Not before the lash line, just in the tear duct area is what I meant to say. So then I think I'm going to take maybe this green, this lighter green, or maybe this darker green. I think I like this darker green better um, out of my big, huge tart palette. Um, I'm going to take that on the same little tiny brush that I was just using. Where'd my mirror go? And um, just use that in along the bottom lash line. Um, just blending that in with the chopper that we put on before. Do the same to the other eye. Not sure why I'm singing. I've had a long day. <laughs> That's why I'm filming this at night because I've got another long day ahead of me tomorrow meeting in the morning. This is Wednesday. I normally film these Thursday morning before I, while I'm getting ready. Um, but I've got to be somewhere at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm not going to have time to film anything. So you will see this on Thursday, but I've been filming this on Wednesday night. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter green, oh, get really close, and blend that right where um, meets up with Chopper. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if you can really tell any difference that it makes with this light, but does make kind of a difference. It makes it blend better and it kind of... It's not so... Um, 
I don't know what the word is. I don't remember. Since my last fiasco with black, like, you know, 10 minutes ago, I'm trying to decide if I really want to use that as a um, crease color or what I want to do. So while I'm deciding that, I'm going to go to my original Naked palette, which looks a little rough because I use it almost every day. See these girls that have a Naked palette and looks brand new. Um, I'm going to go in with Half Baked. Um, it's just this really gold. It's like my favorite gold color that I've ever, ever used. And I'm just going to take that as and use that as my inner corner highlight. I might do more of a highlight, but for right now, I'm going to do... I'm just going to blend it half-baked over and bring that over chopper where it meets up with the green also. Um, I've decided. I just decided. I am, however, going to take core from MAC, which is just a um, a matte brown color. It's several shades darker than my skin, but um, I think it blends in with, it um, helps me blend in things. It blends well. Um, I'm just going to take that and run it above my crease where I've got the choppers up above my crease and blend that out kind of round it on the outer edge. I just think it adds. I think adding um, it as a shadow kind of color, not so much as you're defining your crease, you're just adding a little bit of depth to the look. Um, keep saying um. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Maybe I'll just leave off a crease color. Oh, I need something out here. Um, I actually think I'm gonna go in with the dark green that I used under my eye. Well, first, first I'm going to go in, actually, with um, this color out of the Naked 2 palette called Snake Bite. And I'm just going to keep this in the crease, going in about halfway, kind of blending in little circular motions. And then take and blend it down to where you're kind of creating a V-shape. I guess um, blend that about halfway into the lash line there. Yeah. And then we're going over here. Ooh, I've got all over my nose. I've got it all over my face. Clean up real quick. I don't have foundation on because I thought that would be pointless since I'm just going to wash all of this off in like 10 minutes after I'm done with this. I'm not going anywhere. I just didn't want to not have a video for tomorrow. I started this trend of doing videos on Thursdays and I should keep with that, even though this is only video number four. <laughs> um, I like that. I like where this look is going. Not so much where the Halloween look went. I like this. So then I think um, I'm going to go in with that dark green. Um, just um, out here. Just out 
on the outer corner along the lash line. That might change. That's subject. That's seriously subject to change, though, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I realize this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than normal because I normally um, do do a face chart, sit down, know exactly what I'm doing step by step. Um, but this time I don't. Okay, so we're going to actually take this all the way across the top here. A little more definition along the top. Um, I'm also going to go in with that lighter green. Just near the inner part. Near the tear duct. The tear duct, not the inner part, the tear duct. I guess they're kind of the same thing though. Same to the other eye. Stop singing. At least there's nobody home right now to look at me funny. Normally there's somebody looking at me funny, whether it be my cat or another person that lives with me. I guess I should probably darken that up to match my other eye. So then as always, I'm just gonna go in with my um, carbon, just matte black. Um, from MAC and just push that into the roots of my lashes. Um, this is a trick that I learned. If you don't wear eyeliner and you're wearing false lashes, you can put some matte black eyeshadow just along really close to the roots of your lashes and it helps to hide the band um, of the fake lashes. And then I'm also just going to take that really close to the, on the outer corner of the bottom lashes like that. And then uh, go in for the other eye. And then normally I would just go in and curl my lashes and put on my mascara. Which I'm actually loving this mascara. I might do maybe a review on some mascaras that I really like. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to wash this off because I'm going to bed soon. Um, and the darker it gets outside, the worse the lighting gets. It's actually dark outside completely. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look, and I hope you found some of the tips, if any, helpful. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next Thursday.